She's coming, she's coming. I look forward oh, to it. See you soon. Move, move. Okay, go. Okay. Old Battle Axe, part one. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, E. Katrina, how are you? Good Good morning. Like a strong coffee. What about the Florence Villa? They already signed it. On my desk. Is there more coffee? How is it today? Cloudy. No precipitation. Senna, where are mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Want a pastry? Thank you. Anya, where's my coffee? Thank you. Why is she suddenly wearing heels now? There's a reason. Yeah. Listen, you know who I'm taking to the two bedroom on the embankment today? Who's that? Gasparin. Mikhail, huh. mm -hmm. why does he need a flat? Well, who knows? An investment. Oh, come on. For Gasparian, it's like peanuts. <sighs> Wait, hold on. I'll go by myself. Well, he's a VIP. You may blurt something out. All right? Uh-huh. Well, I don't know. Bunny, what do you think? Hmm, of course it's good. Kitty never lets me down. And who is Katvas? Kitty is E. Katrina's nickname. She's the owner of the real estate agency. Well, what do you think? Well, the kitchen is small. Do you cook often? Me? I don't actually have time to cook. I'm a student. There's a great restaurant next door. Hmm, step us. Mm hmm? What of you, Mikhail? <sighs> well, it's beautiful, but so expensive, hmm? Well, it's the area, the neighborhood, Mikhail. Bunny, overall, I like everything. Besides, it's a temporary thing. Well, I have to live somewhere until I get a divorce. <clears throat> now, E. Katrina doesn't need to know all the details. Go, go look around for now. Kitty. Well, then, let's... <clears throat> let's make a deal. I'll take this shack. Bunny! Turns out there's a closet here. We could turn it into a walk-in. Fantastic! Wonderful! Mikhail, excuse me, but... Are you leaving, Lucy? Well, of course not. The girl is just tender, sensitive. Why hurt her? Bunny, shall we invite interior designers? Because all this furniture needs to go. Absolutely. Finalize it. Well then, E. Katrina. Thank you for everything. See you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> the apartment is yours. Why did I go? I don't know how to look people in the eyes now. Will you talk? What's the point? Just add to her stress. Mikhail has dozens of these girls. But this is new. This is the first apartment. He's getting soft and old. We'll likely register it under his name. Well, of course. When he gets bored, he'll find another honey bunny. Women are so peculiar. And what do you know? Money has sex appeal. She's the same age as Galia. When I think she could become like this, it makes me sick. No, your Galia is nothing like that. She's a smart girl. Exactly. Too smart for her own good. All her friends are married, and she... I don't understand how you can't meet anyone working as a guide and an interpreter. 
Bilby Hills Observation Platform was opened in 1953 at the same time as the white building of the Moscow State University. It is one of the seven Stalin skyscrapers. Borobiobi offers a beautiful view of Moscow. In the middle, you see a large sports arena, Luzniki. To your right is the famous House of Science. To the left, the Moscow Business Center. Don't go there. Some yogurt? Bet you haven't eaten yet. No, I'm good. Do you have some water? Look in the back. Wow. Look who we have here. And now you have an hour of free time. You can take a walk around Moscow. Any questions? Yeah. Tell me, are you married? <laughs> this has nothing to do with our tour. In one hour sharp, I'll be waiting for everyone in the same spot. Please don't be late. Well, of course, Nikolai is handsome, I get it. Listen. I devote my future only to my country. I'm not going anywhere because I'm a patriot and because we have the most beautiful girls, naturally. Has a business here while living in Nice, how convenient. Do you know that he's curating our exhibit? I do. Hmm. What are you up to? Nothing. Yeah, right. Something? I know that look. <laughs> Well, there will be our stand at the exhibition. I am a member of the committee. Seems like a good reason to get acquainted. But do you know each other? I do. But not Galia. Wait, are you serious? You want to marry your Galia off to this? Not a driver, for sure. Oh, dear. Hello, Mom. Sweetie, hello. Take some time off work next week. Mm. You'll help me with the exhibit, okay? What do you need me to do? Nothing major. I just need you to sit at our stand. Uh-huh. What for? Well, because I need the help, and there's no one to ask. Well, okay, got it. Sounds good. We have a deal. But please, I beg you, no jeans and sneakers. You need to look formal. Mom, that's what my job calls for. I can't wear heels. A woman should always be dressed like a woman. A blowout. Manicure. High heels. So do you also sell houses? Yes, and the land for development. And we provide assistance in mortgage registration. Take this pamphlet. It has all our contacts. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nikolai, a few words for our live stream. Of course. We are pleased to see here the key players in the real estate market who will present their projects for investment. I want to highlight that this year we have a very interesting business program, which Ekaterina, the chair of the organizing committee, will explain to you further. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We dedicated our program to the trends of development in the current state of real estate market in Russia and abroad. In addition, we will hold a series of classes on design, landscape design. Also, there will be a presentation of the best interiors. You can take master classes on how to plan special events. I'm sure that everything that we've conceived will be at a high standard, and I hope that we will see the results very soon and realize that this is a good idea. We believe in these methods and techniques, and we are looking forward to sharing them. <laughs> look! Look! My hands are still shaking! What is wrong with you? How could you put me on the spot like that? Don't be coy now, Ekaterina. Your speech was just excellent. Yes, Mom, you spoke very well. Thank you. You're very lucky to have such a mother. You know what they say. If you want to know what the woman will look like in 20 years, simply look at her mother. And in that sense, you got very lucky with your mother. Well, I'm no match for her. <sighs> and what do you do? Galia uh, is an art historian. Got her masters. But teaching science now. You know how it goes. I'm a guide. I give city tours. You don't say. 
How interesting. I don't know the capital at all. Oh, well, Galia can show you. Don't be shy, she'd love to. <laughs> no worries, I won't be shy. How about tomorrow night? Well, and I hope you'll join us. I can't. I'm leaving for Italy tonight. But come find Galia at our stand tomorrow. Leaving to Italy? I'll tell you later. Oh, oh Ekaterina, I swear you are omnipresent. And I am unfortunately... Oh, I must go. I'm really sorry. Unfortunately, I have to leave. Ekaterina, my pleasure. Goodbye. Don't forget, you're going on a city tour tomorrow. I won't. Galia. <laughs> Goodbye. When did you plan going to Italy? I didn't. Sveta is coddling a valuable customer. I have to go urgently to look at the site. Gaia, I beg you. Nikolai is gold. Don't be a fool. Mom, he does seem like a very nice person, but he's just not my type. And who's your type? No, who is your type? A scrawny boy with jeans and a hole in his pocket? Agency Ekaterina, did you call for tech support? Yes, almost two hours ago. I'm sorry, Well, I came as soon as I could. Can I check it out? Yes, of course you can. Do you always walk barefoot? That is none of your business. Galia, nice to meet you. Yura. Listen, I couldn't send emails the whole day because the internet kept disconnecting. Yes, I'm shocked too. They invested huge money in PR but decided to save on a good network. That's none of my business. It's your job to fix the problem, isn't it? Yes. Galia, what are you doing tonight? I'll send my emails, I'll answer the new ones, then my boyfriend will pick me up and we'll go for a walk. How much more time do you need to fix it? Everything's ready. Yeah? Oh, well then, let me sit at my workstation. Ah, yes. Huh. Nikolai didn't come by. No, I'm not gonna call him. All right. Oh, don't worry, I really don't care. Mm-hmm. Bye. Go ahead. If I had known this would be such a mess, I wouldn't have signed up to do it. Come on, it's a decent gig. Yes, hello? Yes, we're all finished. Be there soon. Okay, we'll get it. Is that Vika? Can't wait to see you. We need to get juice. Look at that. No, she's not for us. Let's go. Just wait. <gasps> Is she stuck? <gasps> Look, you go and get the juice. All right, I'll be all right, right there. Go on, go on. Did you call tech support? Look, what a good trap. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. Uh. Okay. Uh. Listen, I don't understand how you walk in these. Like that? Well, that's very practical. Do you always carry a change of shoes? 
I walk seven miles a day. I can't wear heels. Oh, really? I didn't know realtors walk so much on foot. I'm not a realtor. I'm a city guide. This is a side gig. Yeah? Well, I'm also here temporarily. I normally yeah? work as a systems administrator at a transport uh, company. Well, I'm Yura. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Galia, uh, I don't know the city that well. Huh? Well, all right, that was my second attempt. <laughs> I got the deal. <clears throat> Hello. Petya, this is Galia. Galia, this is Petya. He's my friend. Nice to meet you. By the way, she's not a realtor. She's a city guide. Well, shall we? <laughs> Galia. I wanted to invite you to our friend's birthday party. Vika, she's the secretary at our office. Well, actually, she prefers to be called an office manager. Uh, oh. So do you want to go? Vika, where should uh, I put it? Right there, they'll sort it out. Guys, bring it in. <sighs> Vika, Vika. Mm. Well, let's start already. I haven't eaten since this morning. A minute, I called Yura. They're on their way. Hey. Oh, beauty, yes, I beauty. I think tonight someone will have to see the birthday girl to her home. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are. They're coming. Sorry that I'm late. What's up? Hello, what I'm took sorry. you so long? Congratulations. Um, Thank you so much. Vika, let me introduce you to Galia. We worked at the exhibition together. My pleasure. Sorry for crashing your party. Congratulations. Thank you. Here's the juice. Galia, let's go. I'll show you the video I told you about. Yeah. Let's go. Now everyone to the table. Let's begin. Come on. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Come on. working here for a while? About three years. Well, since I moved here to the capital. Where are you from? The south. Oh. From a small town. And you must have been born here? Yeah. Mm. Will you show me the city? Yeah. You should come on my city tour. Hmm. The group tour? I want a private one. Oh, you want everything, don't you? Vika, what's wrong with you? How could he? At my birthday party. Vika, don't cry. Big deal, he met her on the street. Today she's here, tomorrow she's not. And you're always here, nearby. Come on. I mean, just look at her. What, what does he see in her? Wearing a dress with sneakers? <laughs> Let's run away. Won't Vika be upset? No, not Vika. Vika's great. She'll understand. parents? With my mom. She's the realtor. Ah, I see. <laughs> Are you working the entire exhibition? Yeah. And you? No, Petcha and I only signed up for the weekend. We have our actual job. Can I walk you home tomorrow after work? You can. Is it alright if I kiss you? No. I don't kiss men on the first day we meet. Sorry about that.
You haven't kissed her yet? Yura, let's go get the money. I'll be quick. Hurry up. Good afternoon, beautiful. Nikolai, are you here for the closing? Yes. Galia, I'm very sorry. You disappeared from the radar. But I'll make it up to you. You promised me a tour of the capital. How about tomorrow? Since I'm leaving the next day. What do you say? Can I help you? Hello. Nikolai, let me introduce you to Euro. This is Nikolai. He wants to book a guided tour. Ah, he wants a tour. Yes. I can see the sightseeing bus is somewhat crowded. Galia, I dare not bother you any longer. Give my warmest regards to your mother. Huh? Mm. Who's that? He's the curator of the exhibit. I'll show this curator. Hey, easy. Easy. You don't need to worry about him at all. What do I need to worry about then? How about what my mom will say? You're on. I'm charming. All mothers love me. <laughs> Well, here I am. Mom, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're home. I brought so much stuff. Come, let me show you what I bought. There's time. Get some rest. I will later. Look at this beauty. Wow. Beauty. You like it? Yes. It's yours. So Nikolai didn't live up to our expectations? Scumbug, huh? Well, he actually came on the last day of the exhibit. Invited me for some coffee. Well, well, that's interesting. Mom, I really need to talk to you. To tell you something. Well, well, well. Well, I guess you're about to see for yourself. Who? Let me introduce you. This is your. Hello. So the exhibition was your side gig? That's right. Uh-huh. I see. So you don't have a permanent job? What makes you say that? Mom, ah. Euro works as a system administrator at a large transport company. Yes. Ah, I see, I see. And where are you from? Uh, from Korotichi. It's a small town in the south. Uh-huh. I've been in Moscow for three years. I live and work right here. I see, I see. And what do your parents do? Mm. Mom, Yura is an orphan. He has no parents. Mm. I see, yes. Please excuse me. I have to make a few phone calls. <laughs> I don't think she likes me at all. Come on. Everything went better than I thought. Yeah? Yeah. Why didn't you tell her about the trip? Well, because I think that's enough news for her today. Mm. Mm. But we're still going. Of course. Lie down on your stomach. Slowly raise your heads up. As you straighten your arms, bend your back. Good. Bend more. I don't know what you see in him. Mom, he's a good guy. What's so good about him? Well, he's handsome and kind. Mom, we're disrupting the class. Really? All right, now push your chest forward, and while you're doing that, you should feel your spine elongating. If this is hard for you, you can use your elbows and lift from there. Galia, Galia, he's not one of us. Mom, what is that nonsense? Slowly lower yourselves.
Here's the deal. You're taking a vacation and we're going to Italy. There, you'll quickly get your head straight. Now repeat the sequence. I already took a vacation. You and I are going to the mountains. What? Lovely ladies, perhaps you should take aerobics instead? We'll be taking whatever classes we want. Don't bother us. You are not going to any mountains. <clears throat> Galia, where are you going? To the pool. You'd better look at your own stretching. Mm -hmm. Galia! Max, did you hear? She's going to the mountains to break her legs. We already bought our travel packages. You're not going anywhere. I forbid it. Oh, see you later. Galia, are we still going shopping today? I'm sorry. My plans have changed. There have been big changes in my life. It would be great if you would understand. Well, bye, Mom. <laughs> Do you see this? She's doing it to spite me. Right now, you sound like Cadvus, although you're a kind mother. Don't ever call me that dog name again. Now, if I don't try on half the store, I will truly explode. Well then, let's go buy our shoes, snowboard, everything we need. Well, no, did you see him? I did. Some kind of bad joke. Why? A normal kid. It yeah. looks great on you. Yeah? Max? I like it. Please bring that one a size smaller. But it'll look... I know what it will look like. She's not going to date him. I won't let her. Cat. Cat, it's really not up to you. What does she see in him? Love is a mystery. Never know why one person is bewitched by another. Damn chemistry. What did you say? Bewitched? Bewitched. Call Sveta. Oh, Sveta, Sveta. Sveta! Come on, come on. Sveta? Do you remember that fortune teller client we had? I need her number. Now. Cat, are you going to a fortune teller? Here's the size you asked for. I don't need it. Are you taking anything? I am. Max? I would get the red one. The red one? I'll take this one. I like what you've uh, done with the place. Clients seem to like it. You have a lot of clients? Can't complain. Many people want to know the future, understand the past, learn the secrets of being. Yes, yes, I would also like to learn something, too. How do you work, Natalia? Actually, I prefer tarot cards, and my name is Natalie. Great. Let's take a look at your cards, then. What would you like to know? My daughter, Galia, is dating some nobody. I see small children, small troubles. Then to start, let's do a simple spread for family relations in five cards. Why five? Why so few? Is it about the fee? No. You can choose any spread you'd like. A relationship forecast, mirror of fate, that's when everything is set in stone. Or a triangle, where one cannot choose another. Yes. Let's do the triangle. The first card shows us the one who chooses. It's the Lady of Pentacles. Then we have the cards of the man she's seeing. Next, I will lay out the cards of her spouse. What are you talking about? You set a triangle. She can't decide. Well, yes, but there's no spouse. There's no way she can choose between me and this guy. Oh, really? Well, then it requires a different spread. It's OK. Continue. I thought the cards looked strange. And the three goes here. Look here. The first row shows us your daughter's thoughts. 
then feelings and her desires, and finally, how it all ends. Can we just get to the end? I don't have a lot of time. Well, that's not how it's done. It's fine, it's fine. Go on, go on. Three of Swords. A very bad card. It's a card of separation, quarrels, and scandals. So Galia will leave him? No, this is between you two. Their cards look great. Here's the Senior Arcanum. It's a very good card. You know, this is not what I wanted to hear. Tell me, Natalia. What else can we do? Natalie. Tell me, can you do something real? I don't know, disenchant him? Get him out of our sight? It's a sin to break one's line of destiny. And breaking the fate of a girl is not, right? Listen, let me read your cards instead. There are so many interesting cards in your line. Thank you. I know my line. I created it myself and walk along it wherever I want, but I'm not going to let my daughter take the wrong turn. Maybe you should see a therapist. After all, interfering with your daughter's fate like this is not right. And I would advise you to change your profession. I think you could have a bright future in the world of acting. You'll go to cities and villages, give concerts. All the best, Natalia. <laughs> Satisfied? Not at all. These superstitions should be banned by law. What are the authorities doing? I don't understand. What? Was it that bad? Ugh. It's all arcanums and pentacles. Galia is not going to any mountains, and no more Yura. Listen, Kat. You understand that if Galia's in love, then no prohibitions will help. Yes. You're right. I need to change tactics. Meaning? It's all right. I've got a couple of pentacles up my sleeve. Mm -hmm. Mom! Mom, it's me. Are you home? Galia? Is that you? Mom? What happened? Well, I broke my leg, as you see. When? How? In the store. I'm gonna sue them. Dear God, what did doctor say? Have you called Soya about this? No, I didn't want to disturb her. She's a therapist. They said to stay in bed for a month. I can't do anything. And there's so much to do. Dear God, my poor mom. Sweetie, can you cook something, huh? Or order in... I haven't eaten anything since this morning. Of course, just one minute. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, my dear. When would I do without you? When are you leaving? Mom, I'm not leaving now. No, Galia. I don't want you to cancel the trip because of me. I'll ask Max to help me. Although, I don't know about the shower. No, that won't work. Hold on. Galia. Oh. Hello, Yura? Listen, something happened. My mom broke her leg in the store today. Well, no. she's in a cast. No, that's not an option. Yes, I think we need to cancel. If you must. Well, that's it. What is it? I guess we're not going to the mountains. Ekaterina broke her leg. Who broke what? Kadvas. It's Ekaterina, Galia's mother. What's the... Postpone your vacation. Actually, the management warned me that we can't change vacation days at this point. Bad luck. That's okay. We'll just hang out in the city. So we have cheese, tomatoes, yes. fruit. Yeah. Uh-huh, kefir. Yeah. Pasta. Yeah. 
fish? Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, cottage cheese. That's right, cottage cheese. Let's buy it at the market from the same man as last time. The one with the gangster face? But he has good cottage cheese. Mm. Mom needs it, come on. If mom needs it. <laughs> why are you so gloomy, huh? Why are you... <laughs> Hey, come on in. Hello. Are they out? Of course. Would I be standing here? Do you have it? Of course. Let's go. Good. Oh, what bliss this is. Well, how are you doing? I'm terrible. First of all, this endless cottage cheese. Secondly, they kiss all the time and think I can't hear anything. And I'm here and can't stop these shenanigans. <laughs> well, maybe you should have chosen some other handicap. Break out in hives? Did Sveta hand over the documents? Here they are. All right. How are they over there? All right. It's about the rules. Shoot. They're back. Damn. Clean it up. Ooh. We forgot the tea. Well, no problem. Let's take care of this then. I'll go get it. You are so good to me. How so? You're the best. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm the best. So? Max, why all this? Katarina asked me to bring the documents, so I stopped on the way and picked up a few things. Uh-huh. You shouldn't have. Your mom is sick. She needs to eat well. And you two are still growing. Mm-hmm. Yura, you okay? Huh? What should I do? Well, I believe you wanted to go get the tea. Ah, uh, that's right. Don't forget the trash. Ah, uh, okay. I'll be back. <laughs> hey, Pet, yeah. Oh, hello. That's it. Vacation over? Uh-huh. I've had enough. So how's your cat, boss? She's fine. Although, you know what? What is it? Maybe I'm paranoid. But I don't think there's anything wrong with her leg. How so? You see, she locks the door from the inside when Galia and I leave for the day. And then, when we come home, we see crutches all over the apartment. What's up, guys? And when she gets back from her physical therapy, she looks like she just went out to a restaurant. There's some other things, too. So you think she's pretending to be sick so you and Galia wouldn't go anywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> well, what did Galia say? What could she say? Galia's just looking after her mother. Besides, if I even say anything, Ekaterina won't let me into the house anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. Come in. Hello. Hello. We have a guest. Max? No, no, her name is Soya. She's our family doctor. She's been treating me since childhood. Mom mm. thinks she has a sore throat. Look, maybe I'd better no, go. No, 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 she's very nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dear Soya, let me introduce you to Yura. Hello. Nice to meet you, Yura. Very nice to meet you. My pleasure. Have a seat. Mm. 
<laughs> so how did this happen? Ah, they put a new ramp for carts. I did not notice it. Mm. Have you checked your eyesight lately? My eyesight is fine. They should put up some signs. Well, yes, yes, yes. Excuse me, Soya, is it, uh, something serious with her throat? Her throat? Ah, uh, no, not at all. Nothing to worry about. Gargle a couple of times and everything will be fine, yes. But <clears throat> it's good that you called me. Yes, I'll go. I have two more visits. <clears throat> Thanks for the tea. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Don't stand up. Galia, would you see me out? Yes, of course. Hope you get well. Feel Thank better. Thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Yura. Goodbye. Yura, I'm curious. Who taught you to drink tea like that? My nanny in the orphanage. Well, next time you're in a decent house, try not to drink tea like this. With a nanny, be my guest. Do as you please. The nanny died a long time ago. She was struggling a lot without doctors. And why are you telling me this? Well, because... And please excuse me, but do you really have a sore throat or is it the same as with your leg? What are you trying to say? Did Nanny forget to teach some manners or what? Manners? Yeah. And she also taught me that lying isn't good. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so you want honesty? Mm-hmm. Well, then listen. You are no match for my daughter. And it would be great if you got up right now and disappeared from our lives forever. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Home. See you. Mom, what happened? Well, he insulted me. Called me a liar. It can't be. I'll be back. Galia, wait. Yura! Yura, wait! What happened? What did you say to her? Just wait! I understand my mother's not the sweetest person in the world, but you have to understand her. After all, she has a serious injury. You want to know what I said to her? Of course I do. I said... I said that she doesn't have a very serious injury. That she is only exaggerating. Yuro, why did you do that? This is my mother. She raised me alone. Do you think we always lived like this? No. She's everything to me. Gaia, yeah, well... See, your mother, she doesn't want us to be together. And she's ready to do, let's just say, anything to keep us apart. She is just really worried about me. Don't you see? Yes, I understand. Okay. I will be more patient. Thank you. She just needs a little time to get used to it. Well, only if you're ready to wait. I'm ready. <laughs> Galia, I'm ready to wait. Because I love you. I'm ready to wait all my life. No, Max, can you imagine? This bastard told me straight to my face that I'm not all that sick. How do you like that? And Galia? What, Galia? Ran after him, foolish girl. Cat, why are you getting worked up? In fact, you are in good health, no complaints. You know what? I'm wearing a cast. You have no idea how bad my skin is itching under it. It's unbearable. Yes, I understand you. It's very challenging. Mm. In fact, it's none of his business. These are our family affairs. I'll break my legs if I want to. I'll break my arms if I want to. Mom? Lord, you scared me, Galia. Mom, what's going on? Galia. Did you lie to me? Hear me out. This is just so Yura and I wouldn't leave? Gaia, this is for your own good. He lost his vacation days. What does Yura have to do with this? You want to choose God knows who over your mother? What do you mean choose? I love you, but I also love Yura, and we're going to get married. Oh, that now. That won't happen. <laughs> there they are!
Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. The mother-in-law is far from being on cloud nine. Poor Yurik. We know. If you want to see your wife in 50 years, look at his mother-in-law. Shh. Cat, wake up. Your daughter's married. Sad. So sad. Why well, sad? Thank you. Look, young, beautiful, happiness. Where are they going to live? Did you sort it out? Well, where? My place? I'm just ecstatic. Oh, good. The house is big. There's enough space for all. Here's to your daughter. Kiss her! Yura, how much longer? Just a moment. What do you mean? I'm running late. Uh, I'm sorry. It's all yours. Why are you wearing boxers? Why should I go out naked instead? It's indecent. I don't want to see this in my own house. Well, I don't have a robe and you're knocking. Faster, faster. <laughs> oh! It's all wet. I was in the shower. Katrina, good to see you. Hello. Hello, Alex. Oh, what a beautiful purse. Super. It's very From the latest nice. collection. Love it. Well, how did it go? What exactly? Well, you married your daughter off. I did your hair. Ah, oh, that. Yes. yes, the updo really did last a whole day. Uh -huh. How are the newlyweds? Staying with you? Yeah, my son-in-law feels at home, walks around in his underwear. <laughs> oh, uh, Katrina, do you know this joke? Why do men walk around in a pair of boxers? That's the joke? Because they'd be hot wearing two pairs. <laughs> uh. Alex, can I see you? Oh, excuse me. What is it? Did you take any dye from the new delivery? I did, but how do I know what delivery it's from? It's new. It was in a box. I don't know where it was laying. What do you want from me? Because you should ask me and note it in the records. Do I also have to ask permission to use the bathroom? Write it down in the records? This is my job. I need the hair dye. And my job is to keep an eye on the product you use. That's my responsibility. So do it. Do it then. Go ahead. I have a client now, and you're bugging me for no reason. <clears throat> Uprising in the Danish kingdom? I'm sorry, Katrina, truly. See, it's a new administrator. She's acting like the boss. But what she needs to be is a service provider. I shouldn't even be talking to her, but she... I know half the city, you know? She's just driving me out. Should I talk to her? Oh, no, there's no need, Katrina. Thank you. Maybe I should leave. Sometimes radical changes are necessary in life. Yes, I understand. Well, what are we doing, huh? The usual? Did you say radical changes? How did you agree to this? I thought you liked it. Yes, well, it's just unusual. Ira, do you like it? Very unusual. <laughs> yes, well, okay then, maybe I should dye my hair too. Maybe red or green. No. Oh, <laughs> I was told a joke today. Why do men walk around in a pair of boxers? Because they'd be too hot wearing two pairs. <laughs> Look, I don't walk around in boxers. I was in a hurry. You wouldn't stop knocking. I don't have a robe, and I put my clothes in the washer. Oh, Yura, 
Thank you for dinner. I'll go take a walk. Gaia. Come on. Well, let him be, so he wants to take a walk before bed, hmm? So is your walker back yet? Yes. Why are you always arguing? Why are you always protecting him? Well, he's my husband. And I'm your mom. Yes, and I love you both very, very much. And I really, really love you. Don't fight then. Sleep well. You too, honey. Confess, you sinner! Oh, no way! Oh, really? Well, I will. I'll show you. Done. Coming, coming, just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. Coming. Well, I just gotta leave for work and, and in general. Are you leaving already? Yes, I'm late, and Aww. here's what I'll tell you. I hope you don't have to use the bathroom. See ya. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What's up? What is it? Just a moment. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Hey, send this by courier. Okay. Why are you grumpy? No reason. He's always late for work. His honeymoon just won't come to an end. The boss tells me to uphold the discipline in this place. You mean you're a... Oh, come on. His mother-in-law gives him no rest. He complains to Petya every day. And, by the way, yeah. according to statistics, two-thirds of all divorces happen because of the mother-in-law. So take note. Pay attention, hmm? Thank you. Hey, what's that? Brushing your teeth? Yeah. Cat Voss occupied the bathroom this morning. Had to get stuff on the way. Yura, listen. The management requires me, as the office manager, to record all late attendances. Yeah. But don't worry, I got you. Pika, thank you, you're a true friend. <laughs> listen, what's that? Where? Toothpaste? I'll get it. Where, here? <laughs> Will you try not to be late, okay? We have another tough deadline coming on. We'll be reinstalling the entire internal network. Tell them to give us a pay raise. They have a lot of deadlines with very little money. Well, tell it to the management, not me. Where's the management, anyway? It's you and I who are late. The management gets delayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I would like to book an ocean view suite with two rooms. Preferably top floor. Hello? Good afternoon. Ekaterina, if I may. You look great. Thank you. Unexpected. Come to my office. Okay. Please excuse me, what did you say? Blondes do look younger. Although, a black dog can't be washed white. Anya, let's not discuss the person behind her back. Excuse me. Max. Good afternoon. I baked some pierogies for you. Here. 
You're spoiling me. Tea? Coffee? Ah, some tea? All right. Mmm. Hey, listen, I have great news. The client is ready to make a deposit on the villa. That's great. If everything goes well, we should celebrate. Of course. I've been meaning to ask, when can I get my commission? On the deal? What a strange question. When we get the money, then you'll get it too. Oh, well, okay. Um, I actually... Oh, later. One thing. Listen, could you let Max have a day off tomorrow? My husband has a consultation. You know, he's in a wheelchair. It's very hard for me, and I don't want to ask strangers, okay? Well, if you need, yes. Thank you. Hmm, yeah, some question. No, of course I don't mind, but I don't understand why it was necessary to schedule a consultation today when I have a full day. Cat. Well, it wasn't Sveta who scheduled it. The doctor did. I don't understand why she drags him to doctors. It's torture. They said there's no hope. I don't even know how he survived such an accident. Well, hope it never dies. Such bad timing. There's so much to do. You can ask Yura. Ask what? Well, to drive you around. You know what? I'll do it myself. Cat, just give the guy a chance. You need to have a relationship with him. You're a family. He's your son-in-law, isn't he? car. Easy to drive. I used to have a car that was very old. As soon as I got my license, I bought a Ford. So it fell apart right before my eyes. <laughs> Barely sold it later. Oh, camera. I didn't notice. These cameras are everywhere now. Oh, don't worry. We're barely moving anyway. Well, there's a sign. The speed limit. Tell me, did you get your license back in the village? No. Why in the village? Ah. I see. What do you see? Where you got your driving style. And what is my style? You know, it's so... timid. As if you're afraid of the big city. You think I'm a bad driver? No, not bad. Very good. Very. But I could have already gotten there on foot. Do you know what you get for speeding, for dangerous driving, for not turning on a turn signal, Comrade Yuri? Yes, I'm sorry. I was in a hurry. It's my fault. A passenger without a seatbelt and disobeying an officer. I stopped immediately. Refusing the breathalyzer. I didn't refuse. Let's get in the car. Excuse me, is this all going to take long? We need to file very serious violations. I see. He may be drunk, too. I did not drink. The test will show we need to file a report. None of you did drink when asked, but the reality is quite, quite different. Does she have a license? So wait, she just up and left? Yes. Oh, brutal. Well, what about the officer? Well, fine, but that's nothing. Cat Voss. She almost burnt through me with her stare. I thought she would kill me on the spot. Yura, do you want some pizza? Oh, thanks, Vika. I'm starving right now. I ordered it, but it turned out to be big. Hmm, thank mm, you. Do you think I can have a piece? Of course. Thank you. Bon appetit. Mm hmm. I'm serious. I'm afraid to go home. Gaia and Cat Boss went to yoga, and when they return, the two of them will eat me alive. We'll prevent it. How? Buy a cake. They'll warm up. 
You can't be angry with a man who treats you to a cake. Close your eyes. Imagine that you are on a beach. The sun has already disappeared beyond the horizon. The waves slowly roll to the shore. Each wave brings you new strength and takes away the thoughts that bother you. He nearly killed me, Yoyura. Mom, I can't even imagine that Yura would do that. He's crazy. It'd be best if they suspended his license. Your breath is deep. Waves that roll back from the shore take away everything that bothers oh, yeah. you. Mm. Come to Italy with me. We'll have fun. I can't. You and I are going to buy a bed. You decided to buy furniture for my apartment and didn't even ask me? Your apartment? Mom, maybe we should move out. Do you think you can put out your candles already? I'm allergic <sighs> to them. Where is this delicious smell coming from? I baked an apple pie. Wash your hands and sit down. <gasps> A secret recipe, I measure powdered sugar with eggshells. Mm. Wonderful. Did Nanny teach you that too? Yura, you're so incredible. Well, I think I'll pass. I'll order some rolls. You want eel as usual? No, I'll just have the pie. Okay, so tell me what happened this time. Golly, it's not my fault, but I swear, she keeps picking on me. First I was driving too slow, then I was giving way to everyone. Well, I broke down. Sweetheart, well, promise me you won't break down again. Mm? Golly, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I ordered for you anyway. But why? I'm having the pie. No, Galia, you aren't eating. You're poisoning yourself. I don't even understand how you can eat powdered sugar. After yoga? And in my opinion, it's better to have some powdered sugar than your rolls with your worms. I'm sorry, what? Intestinal worms. You know, that's too much. That's over the line. <laughs> Look at that. What a drawer. And the chair. And the table. Listen, when we move, I want furniture in this style. Yeah, if only we knew when it will happen. Yura. Ah. How do you like this bed? Seems soft. I don't like it when it's soft, but we can technically pick another mattress. Can we try it out? Of course, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the mattress is fine. Mm. Yura, is it okay if we look at the mortgage terms later tonight? Mm. Well, it's not fine. Mm. Sweetie, you know that this apartment won't be downtown. Yeah, it's really not convenient for me to live far from downtown. <laughs> but everything else would be very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we really like it. Yes. I think we'll take it. Uh, can we still think about it? Uh, yes, of course. Galia. Yura, we have the money. Galia, I can't sleep in this bed. Let me choose one. Honey. Well, at an online shop. Let's go. A good one. I'll find a good bed. Very good. Much better. Excuse me. Here. Much better than this one, I promise. Yeah? What do you say? Is this all gonna fit in the elevator? Huh. Well, that I don't know. You have a delivery to the building. What do you mean, to the building? Why didn't anyone notify us? Are we gonna carry all this ourselves? I don't know. Delivery to the flat is an extra fee. And how much does that cost? Well... <laughs> do you have a cargo elevator? No. Huh. Well, then for every floor. The mattress won't fit in the passenger elevator. Well, then... Wait, guy. Don't you see? He's just trying to scam us for extra money. <laughs> Look here. 
I have it written in the receipt. Look right here. Delivered to the building listed. Not to the apartment. But okay, fine. Well, fine. You're up. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How long is this going to last? Mom, please wait. Yura, let's fold it. No, hold on. There are springs there. Let's do this. No, I just don't understand one thing. Why did this need to be done on the day of my trip? Because it's yours only day off today. Yura, can you push? Hold on. Hello? Yes, Sveta. Yes, I'm leaving, yes. Now look, while I'm gone, keep in touch with St. Petersburg branch, you understand? Hold on. Yura, can't you hear the doorbell? We'll get the door. Fine. I said hold on, yes. Hey, young folk. What do you have here? Max, for God's sake, help them get this damn mattress in. Ah, the bed. The key of a happy family life. <laughs> Three, four. Got it? Opa! There you go. Thank God. To the car? To the car. All right. Bye. See you, Galia. Don't burn the flat down without me. Sveta, are you still here? Yes, we're leaving. Did you get everything? Good. Safe travels. Uh-huh. So, is she gone? Uh-huh. They left. Sveta, why didn't Ekaterina take you with her? Isn't she your client? Let me explain how business works around here. It's not my client, it's ours. Clear? Hmm. And Max went with her too? Well, where can she go without him? Anya? Anya, what is it? Anya, oh, don't take it like this. Come on, come on. Like what? Well, Anya, he's so much older than you are. So what? Well, go and find someone else your own age. I don't care for my peers, okay? They're all, they're all idiots. <sighs> mm. I don't understand anything. I'm doing everything right. Well, maybe not everything. Here, I'm doing it as it's written, just as it says. Uh, easy, easy. Just take it easy, Yura. Damn wood. I told you we should have ordered it assembled. This is insane. Okay. Yura, let's do this. Today we sleep in my mom's bed, and tomorrow yeah. we'll... So she could hit me with a bat later? Why are you like this? And do you really believe that your mother treats everyone with respect? You know my mom, of course it's not easy. But it's not her fault that you can't assemble a bed. I'll go for a walk. Well go then! Perfect timing! kicked out. Couldn't assemble the kennel or something. What should I do with you? Yes. Yes, I agree. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm coming. But it seems I won't be coming alone, okay? 
See you soon. Bye. Here. Oh my god, what a little cutie. Here, boy. It's a girl. Oh, oops. Can you believe it? She followed me. We should probably put notices around the neighborhood, yeah? Yes, of course. But first, the bath. <laughs> Maybe the food first. No, no. The bath is first. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> We've already uploaded it to the social networks. Now here, put these up. Here, I'll help. Thank you. Here. Oh, what's this? Strange, right? Found her yesterday. Oh, what a cute boy. Cute, right? It's a girl. Why don't you want to keep her? Well, I don't live alone. I see. Poor little doggy. What's that? A doggy. Well, I see it's a doggy. How did it get here? Well, the guys will come and tell us. What's your name? Mom, this is temporary. We're looking for new owners. Have you at least checked it? Is it healthy? Yes, we have checked it completely. For worms, too. That's your favorite subject, isn't it? Mom. <laughs> I swear, you're like small children. Okay, enough. Let's look at the gifts. Okay. Here. Go on, go on. Thank you. This is also for you. Mm. For you. Well, take it. And this for you, too. Here. Thank you. It will fit. Yeah, yeah? Hmm? Hmm? Wow, what a cool bag, Mom. You heard a look at this. Well, why are you always dropping things? Thank you so much. You are welcome. Is this yours? Holy crap. Why would you pay such money for some bag? Well, that's my money, right? You, Euro, will buy Galia different gifts with your own salary, cheaper Yura, this ones. This is just an expensive brand. I see. I'll go take Cutie for a walk. Who? Cutie? What kind of name's that? Well, we had to call a dog something, right? Euro, wait, I'm coming with. Mom, the bag is to die for. As if I don't know. I don't understand what's so special about that bag. Well, Why is it so expensive? Well, it's handmade, and in general, it's a famous expensive brand. I don't want you to carry it with you. Yeah, I have bags even more expensive than that. Should I throw them away? Then don't carry them when I'm with you. I don't fit in with them. I'm in a different price range. Yura, what are you even talking about? Well, I just sometimes think that your mom, she's from another planet. She didn't see how other people live. My mother earned all her money with years of hard work. You can't imagine how hard she works. What's the point? To buy handbags for the price of three of my salaries? That's her money, so she spends it however she wants. Understood? Understood. She's unhappy with my salary. Hello. Well, you still haven't found an owner for the dog. No, not yet. Yes, I try and find an owner for this one, too. I said, sit. I tried and tried, even took him to a dog shelter at some point. And the next day, I ran back and took him home. It's been two years already. You found him too? My neighbor's dog. My neighbor died. And there was nobody to leave oh. him with. Yeah, Dosh. Sweet Dosh. Good oh, boy. You poor thing. Such a good boy. Why poor thing? I'm the poor one. He's torn apart the whole house. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thank you. Come on, Dosh. Let's go. We'll chase the cats. I won't give you away. There will be a scandal. I won't give her up. I believe, before I left, I gave you clear instructions. Gave you the necessary details. To send flowers to two clients, pick up the gift that I picked out myself, Send the courier. Why didn't you do anything? I'm sorry, I forgot. You should write things down if you're an airhead. I'm sorry, Ekaterina. If we don't want to get stuck in traffic, we should head out. Yes, let's go. Who told you that you were a secretary? 
At this point, you should apply to McDonald's. It suits you. Thank you. Cat, why are you acting like a rabid dog screaming at that girl? Why are you defending her? It's a shame. She didn't deserve it. First of all, she did. She didn't follow her boss's instructions. Secondly, hey, I overreacted. God knows what's happening at work and at home. What's wrong at home? First she got this Yura of hers, now the dog. Well, the dog is temporary. Cat, everything will be fine. All right. When are you giving it away? Mom, we need to talk. Please don't get upset, but we want to keep Cutie. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Mom, come on, just look how cute she is. And Yura and I have always dreamed of getting a dog. You always dreamed? Mm. Really? You dreamed? The thing is, I never dreamed about it. Not even once. Ekaterina, wait. Believe me, she won't give you any trouble. Mom, we need to talk. Don't be like this. So what now? Well, I'll convince her. And what about this? Well, what? Of course you don't care. It's just my gift, right? Mommy, I'm really sorry. Cutie, she wants to play, so she just grabs everything. Listen to me, my dear. If you want dogs, keep them. Go ahead. You want to feed them Italian bags? Go ahead. Be my guest. But not in my home. So? Now what? What now? We're looking for a room. Why not an apartment? We can't afford an apartment. Uh -huh. We need to live downtown because of Galia's work. I thought you knew that trouble comes to the ones who seek it. You know, in fact, I'm glad. Better to live with strangers than with your in-laws. Hello. Hello. What's up? Could you leave work early today? Hmm. I guess I could. What's up? Do you remember the one we saw near the park? Yeah. Well, the landlady said she could show it this afternoon. Perfect. I'll go ask right away. Yes. Great. Okay, love you. Go. Catch you. I'll cover for you. Yura, give me the zip ties. I uh, betcha. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Here we are. The whole way is big. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, when we finish the repairs, it'll be better. Well, let's go see the room. Yeah. Here we are. This room is vacant. Mm-hmm. Looks all right. Were you informed that we have a dog? I don't care. As long as you pay on time. And who lives in the other room? Wonderful people. Husband, wife, no children. Well, what do you say? Can we tell you tomorrow? As you wish. But after you, I have two more people, and they're very interested. Uh... I need to make a call. Mm hmm Go ahead. Don't go too far. The bus is coming in five minutes. Well, are you there? Yes. Looks just like the photo. Well, and did you like it? It's fine. But the landlady said we have to decide now. Well, then decide. Well, yes. It's you who has to go for a walk all the time. Galia. What, Galia? All right. I decided we'll take it. Well, that's great. That's it. Then see you tonight. Love you. Me too. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm. <clears throat> Deal. Well, let's sit down for the trip. Now sit.
So, shall we go? One moment. Mom, we're done. Did you get everything? I don't think so. If we left anything, we'll come back. Well, good luck to you and Yura at the new place. Thank you. Here it is. This is our hallway. It's big. There's our kitchen. And there is our room. Uh. And the landlady already said repairs will be happening. And then I told him, damn you! <laughs> oh, and who's this little guy? <laughs> You're up? Our neighbors are home. Sit, sit, give a paw, give a paw. Oh, he won't give a paw. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Oh, the neighbors. Why don't you join us for a drink? Tanya, pass me a glass. There. No, thanks. We're okay. Why not? Are you a man or what? Come on, sit down. Tanya, slice some more sausage. Hey, doggy, this is for you. I'd appreciate <laughs> it if you didn't feed the dog. I'm eating, and she's what? Too good for this? Hey. Are you squeamish? Vasya. And who told you you could bring a dog into the house? Did you ask our permission? Vasya, sit down already. Why sit down? Well, sit down. I was down. trying Calm to be down. a good host. Well, I understand. You were now, trying who to... Who knows if she'll ruin the place? We've lived so here for what? many years. I won't allow Vasya, it. Vasya, calm down. What? Calm they down. They have to like people like me. Vasya, and, you. and these are our neighbors? It seems that way. Why didn't you ask the landlady? You shouldn't have agreed until we saw the neighbors. Galia, I had to make a decision right then on the spot. I see. So the landlady just tricked you. So what? It's my fault? I'm not staying here, Yura. Galia, calm down. We'll leave here first thing tomorrow. No, 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 Yura. We are not leaving tomorrow. We're leaving now. Gaia, where would we go at night? Where? With the dog? With our things? Where? Don't cry. Don't cry. Fine. But tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Of course. Shall we call the landlady? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about the bed? Well, let her take it out of the deposit. Although this junk doesn't cost anything. Back to mom's? Well, where else? Don't worry. We'll keep looking. Good morning. It is. Here, here, help yourself. Thank you. We're not hungry. Eat, eat. Why are you drinking tea with nothing, huh? Uh -huh. I'm Tanya. My pleasure. 
I'm Gali, and this is my husband, Yura. <laughs> Uh, please, don't think bad of Vasya, okay? He drives a taxi. One of his clients cheated him yesterday, he took a ride for $150 and fled, so he got really upset. He's a really good man, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, the neighbors. Not there. Uh, Tanya, do we have any bread? In the fridge. Ah. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, what did you bust in the middle of the night? Oh, yeah. The bed broke. It's way too old. Oh. Vasya! What? Will you fix it? I have to fix what? The bed broke! Uh, I'll look after my shift. Don't worry, he's a jack of all trades. <laughs> uh, well, eat! Eat! Eat some crepes then. Delicious. <gasps> you know, she's nice. And her Vasya looks like he's sobered up. Actually, if he is a driver, he can't drink much by definition. Mm hmm. So, yeah? Are we staying? Listen, let's try it out. For one month. Mmm. These crepes are delicious. You won't get these from my mother-in-law. But my mom has other pros. Mm-hmm. Cutie. <laughs> 